Okay, uh, Dale and Marilee are here. Dale, of course, is the artist. Marilee, uh, I want to say, is his manager. And, <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> uh, Dale's been with us now for, what, four or five years? Five years, six times. Six times. So, mm. a couple of years he's been here twice, once in the spring and once in the fall. So, uh, you're fortunate in order to get him uh, at the end of the season. Well, we live up here now, so it's easy to get over here. You used to live um, in Indiana? Yeah. In, no. no. We live in Colorado, Wisconsin. No, no, before. Well, we used yeah. to live in Indiana. Yeah. yeah. Northwest Indiana. They got tired of living in Indiana, so they came out here. Yeah. We wanted to wake up in beauty every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I used to teach in Chicago. I taught in the Chicago area for, oh, 30 some years. Um, I'm only 28 years old. So. <laughs> um, anyways, I want to thank you all for coming for, for Pam's class and my class. This is what I call the Disneyland of workshops. These folks take good care of you. They direct you in the right direction. I've been at workshops where they say, here's your room, goodbye. Um, and you never see them again. And they don't have any camaraderie and everybody disperses in different directions after class. But this, this place is wonderful, trust me. Um, anyways, my students, who I'm here for, um, we sent you a workbook of what's gonna happen for the four days every day. We created the schedule. It was a PDF that they were It was a PDF, using. and it talks about what I'm going to do each day and uh, the money that you're going to donate to me each day. <laughs> um, but it gives you the colors. It gives you the, the photograph, the drawing, a black and white image of what's going to happen with your painting. And I want to let you know that you're not painting the photograph, you're painting the painting. So, I mean, nature doesn't create compositions for the artist. You create the composition out of nature. And that's what I'm always after. Um, the thing about this workbook, we do Zoom classes, or my wife and I do Zoom classes, I teach them, but she created an idea uh, quite a few years ago during the COVID, beginning of the COVID crisis. And um, so anyways, we decided to do Zoom classes. And because all my teaching jobs went gone. And so we did the Zoom classes for 13, 14 weeks. We had it was actually Facebook Live. Facebook Live. I call them Zoom classes. Um, it's on camera. It's over the internet. It's Zoom. Um, she's the technical person. I'm, I'm just the brush. She's the brains. Remember that. Um, but she came up with some ideas. We'd have coffee on Sunday mornings discussing ideas, and she came up with this thing. And this is what it's patterned after. So And it's, and it's expanded. So we sent out a PDF file to every student in class to print out, to tell them, show them, what's going to happen every day, okay? And um, I called everybody, I left messages, some folks called back or emailed me back, just to make sure that they got it. So I hope you all have this. This is a, kind of a nice thing to have. And we're going to continue doing this for every workshop that I do because I think it's going to work out well. Um, I do use core watercolor paints I've been using for about five years, but any professional grade paint is always very good. This is just my preference. Same thing with the watercolor paper. Same thing with the brushes. Um, every artist has their preferences. But um, other than that, I think we'll have a good time and always ask questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. And if you didn't understand it, I'll repeat it in a different way that you do. I, I taught 18, 19 year olds for 22 years. You're repeating things all the time. Um, so anyways, but have a good time. Don't worry about making mistakes. That's the best thing you can do to learn is making mistakes. Those are the stepping stones to your success. So try to remember that. And one last thing. If any of the husbands are going out fishing, just take Denny's advice. Where do you go fishing the best spot? He always points out there. <laughs> it's out there. I usually say I'm underwater. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but like I said, he's never sunk a boat, so feel good safe about going out on a pontoon boat. So. Welcome to Dillman's. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if I mentioned them. Hi, I'm here at Dillman's tonight. We're ready to get for going on the workshop tomorrow for a four day. We're here for a dinner tonight uh, as an introduction to all the students. And uh, I'm very excited about teaching this class this time. Watercolor! Watercolor! Yay!
deal this is. We had a silent auction item here, and uh, this is actually painted here. This is cabin number eight, uh, Dale's rendition of cabin number eight, which is Little Denmark over there on the north side of the peninsula. And this is a, at least a hundred dollar painting that Dale would sell for. Yes, okay. <laughs> and we had some bids on it. So Kathy, um, Chrome, Gil, right here. You are the winner right there. So <clears throat> you can pay us. This will go into the scholarship fund, and uh, some lucky student down the road that needs a little extra help will be the recipients of that. So can I get a picture us. of you with Dale up front? Yeah, sure. Here. Come on up front, and then Dale, you can make your presentation. Well, congratulations, it's a beautiful painting. Okay. You'll have to report back to mom tonight. Her mother and her mother, their sisters, their mother is 92. Yeah. And they have to text their paintings back every night to show her what's going on. They've been getting approval, which is really kind Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'm up here to stay. Right behind you. Yep. Right behind you. Okay. First, I want to thank um, Stephanie and uh, Sarah and naturally Denny and Sue for hosting us and doing all their hard work behind the scenes that we don't always see, but they're running around rapidly everywhere trying to get everything organized. Like chickens with their heads cut off. Uh, yeah, that's what you're saying. Uh, yeah, 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 basically. Yeah. I know what you did. I started off five years ago and I was in this little octagon building back there. Mm -hmm. uh, Denny called me at home. He says, we only have uh, six students. He says, do you want to do the workshop? It was my first time. And I always bring my wife up for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. And we have a log cabin west of here about 40 miles. And so I says, yeah, I says, let's do it. Let's plant the seed. And uh, it worked out nice. The six students were wonderful. They were from California, mm -hmm. Iowa, Illinois and I think Indiana and one another one from someplace I can't remember. Wisconsin. Where. Wisconsin. <laughs> of course. It was right from here. And um, but I had a lot of fun and we had a good time and we learned a lot. And I had a young lady <coughs> known as Pat Helverson, which is she's been here a number of times. She's coming again soon, I think. She's a minister. Yeah, she's a Presbyterian minister. And I, when she's here, I always have to say a prayer before class. You don't have to clap yet. I'm trying to get the bugs. It's those flies. we got to fly so But anyways, but thank you again, all of you, for hosting this. My pleasure. This is really, and I've done, like I said before, a number of workshops. This is the Disneyland of workshops. Uh, where they treat you right, they'll do anything for you no, any time of night. I will be back next year, uh, June 2nd through 7th, and I'll most likely be doing a workshop on rivers, rapids, and waterfalls. And I'll be back again September 29th to October 4th, doing what I did now, the Seasons of the North Woods. Um, my wife and I, my wife mostly did all the work, but we put a book together for the students that we send to them on an email PDF and they get the photograph, they get the drawing that I did for them and the colors they're using and explanations of different things within there so they know the program before they walk in the door. Um, so we've been asking the students if there's anything else we need to do and they gave us some good suggestions. So I'm gonna call every one of the students up. They all did wonderful. Um, in fact, it was a really quite a good group of people. Um, Carolyn, yeah, Andrew. She did really good. She's been with me since 1916. Um, <laughs> okay, 1918. Bob, want to come up? Thank you. Congratulations on your work this time. <laughs> and also you, Carolyn. Tammy? There she is. She's been with me a second time, and she did really well this time. And she brought donuts. And she brought donuts. I mentioned first person in tomorrow has to bring donuts. Her husband is a retired policeman, which was very apropos. Um, the donuts are still good, too. Robin. Thank you for coming. appreciate it. Kathy Croningill. There you are. Thanks again. Thank you.
Sue Mauer? Yeah. That pronounce that right? Yes. Okay. I'm usually two names out. Thank you. Ruth Novak. I can get I can squeeze the whole Thank you. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Sarah Resin. Raisin. Raisin. Well, there's an E in there. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Amazing glass artist right there. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer Scott. Is Jennifer here? Yes, Thank she you. Is. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kim Strange. I know she's here someplace. There you are. Thank, Thank you. you. Gail Thropson. Thropson. Don't trip your beautiful wife. You. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Peggy, Tuscany. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. And Peg Wastel. She's got a key. Oh, she's stuck way back there. I'm always stuck somewhere. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Pam. Just a couple of housekeeping announcements.